If I might have a moment of your time. Oh? Who are you? Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Oh. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. Here I am. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps you should look among your fellow mages. My fellow m mages? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I guess. Uh, you weren't at the Conclave, though? I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the Conclave. Yes. You were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You think the Templars did it? Huh. I think they think you might have done Actually, they never commented on- That's weird that you're jumping to that conclusion right away. We don't know. Maybe it was a third party that hated you both. I don't know who that would be, but you never know. I mean, maybe- Never mind. I'm not going to say those thoughts out loud because of where I am. And if I do, I might get put in extra jail. Anyways, so yeah, you think they did it? So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses. If he's concerned about them at all, you heard him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. Great. I'm so happy you think that he did it more than you think I did it. But that doesn't mean you still don't think that I did it, even though I didn't do what you think I and or Lord Seeker Lucius might have done. I think I just confused myself with that train of thought. Anyways, <laughs> back to the matter at hand. Why speak to us now of all times? Is it because we're here and you're jealous that we went and tried to talk to the Templars and the Chantry? Or is there a different reason? The mages weren't willing to talk to the Inquisition before. Why now? Because now I've seen what you are. And I've seen the Chantry for what it is. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my lady Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Okay. You know, I didn't think we'd find ourselves in a creepy dark alley in the middle of El Royo in the middle of the night, but here we are. Um... It's the Inquisition's Hi! How are you? Well, they know who I work for, at least. So soon! Honestly, I didn't think that there were going to be threats on my life quite this fast like this. Like, I kind of expected it, but not quite like this. Is that all of them? I think so. So, that was fun. I guess we should keep pressing through to see if this... Very kind of creepy dark alleyway gives us more than just this. There's got to be more, right? More big baddies. Ah! Herb oh, come on! Andraste. How much did you expend to discover? Nothing. It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. Not at all, I don't actually. I know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is the... Ugh. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah. Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... And you're an elf. Well, hope you're not... too elfy. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the herald thingy. Um... Glow? Are you talking about the thing on my hand? I mean, that glows. I personally do not glow. I mean... 
Not that I know of. Cassandra, do I glow randomly or is it just, no, it's just, it's just my hand. Um, but I guess some people think I'm the Herald thingy, is it? Who are you? Why are you here? Why did you kill him before we could talk to him? Because he was honestly very entertaining. Some believe I'm the Herald of Andraste. But who are you and what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. Okay. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. No breaches? What? Why didn't you take their weapons? Because no breaches. You literally just... <laughs> okay. I mean, listen. I'm not going to judge you for this yeah. one. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, something. They're dead now. Is that it? Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste. You're a strange one. Very. I'd like to join. Yes, sure. But first, all of this has to start making sense before I officially, I don't actually get to officially say yes to anything, but until I pretend to officially agree to anything and make it make sense. Could we take a few moments for sense to reassert itself? Who are you people? I'm not people, but I get what you want. It's like this. Okay. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. Yes. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. Okay, so you're offering spies of sorts then? Because... They give us information and then we use arrows, as you say. Is, is that it? The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here shoving your cods around. Blah, blah. I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives all serious with his... Little knife. No, he was a little knife. All those secrets. And what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Yes, 100% want to get things back to normal. And if you're looking to help us get things back to normal, sure. Why not? I don't know if I get to officially say yes or no to something, but in case that I do, I say yes. And good luck if they try to kick you out, because I don't think you're going to let them, are you? All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Yeah. Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. See you there. Is it true that the entire dwarven economy relies upon lyrium? Uh, mostly. We've got the Nog Market cornered as well. The who? And the dwarves of Orzammar have never studied lyrium? Well, if they have, they certainly haven't shared anything up here. Why? It is the source of all magic. Save that which mages bring themselves. Dwarves alone have the ability to mine it safely. I wondered if they had sought to learn more. Uh, the folks back in Orzammar don't care much about anything but tradition. That was a fascinating conversation. So, I have a salon to attend, which I think is just down the street. And I think it was like down the street and take a left or something. I don't Anyways, it was like right next door. I'm going to go attend that. You guys can either wait for me or if you want... I'll meet you in Haven. Either way, I promise not to get lost. I don't think I'm going to run away or anything like that. So don't worry. I have nowhere to take this mark otherwise. But I'm going to go see what it's like to be fancy. 
around here. I'm kind of terrified. Lady Lavellen, on behalf of the Inquisition. Get a load of this place. Hello. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer, or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Um, tales? Of, of me? <laughs> you know who I am, it's already reached this far so soon? What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the fate. Oh. Did they now? Well, all the rumors that you have heard, 100% true. I can tell you that with certainty. I was delivered from the Fade by Andraste herself. She and I had a great time. We had tea before that all happened, too. It was delicious. Some snack. There was cake and everything. It was great. You guys should have been there. I'm so sad that more people couldn't have experienced it. Everything you've heard, completely true. Better and better. The Inquisition should attend more of these parties. Oh. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. It's nice to meet you Everyone too. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. To grab power? I mean, I'm not out for any kind of political power. Honestly, political power gives me, like, a case of hives. I, I don't do well with that. I mean, honestly, all we're out here trying to do is just restore peace uh, and get everything back to normal, because I would like to go home. I don't know if I look like I'm from here. I don't think I look like I'm from here, because I am not from here at all. I... Dalish, 100% Dalish here, would like to be back with the rest of my clan kind of thing. So, peace, then I get to go home and hopefully my hand stops hurting. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. What army? We know what your Inquisition truly is. Do we? If you were a woman of honor... You'd step outside and answer the charges. Let's go. Come on. Oh, you can't now. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? Oh. I mean, he can go free. Um, I, I don't need him, like, dead or anything like that. And if I do, I can always do it myself later. Because I know how to find him. Don't worry. I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> bye bye I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Have you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Ah, uh, and... The Marquis... You'll have to forgive me. I'm not up on all of this. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtesse of Mont de Glace. Huh? Not a powerful family, but well-respected. And very devout. Uh-huh. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end, or to win back a modicum of self-respect. Well, this has most certainly been the most interesting party I've ever attended. 
Your salon has certainly exceeded my expectations so far. I'm glad to keep you entertained, my dear. I wanted to meet face to face. Oh? It is important to consider one's connections carefully. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Your assistance? Oh, that's what I'm doing here? Um, oh, interesting. I, um, I didn't actually think that that- Okay, um, listen, I have a quick question for you. What are the loyal mages? You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. Oh, of course, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. That's admirable. Very, very admirable. And because I am the suspicious sort <laughs> by nature, what do you get out of helping us? Outside of just obviously the warm, fuzzy feelings that come with restoring peace and order across the land and, you know, all of that. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. Honestly? That's quite admirable and a sentiment I can get behind. Welcome aboard. I don't think I'm the one that actually makes these official decisions, but once again, I'm making it so welcome. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. I'm so excited. Honey, I'm home. It's good you've returned. I we heard of your encounter. You heard? What? You heard? Yeah. My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. Oh, of course, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. Yeah, well, I mean, it was, I guess, good that we went. We made contact, we said hi, we made snide remarks at each other and both sauntered away in opposite directions. It was great. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Yeah, kind of. Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. I mean, it could be. It could not be. Somebody's gonna have to make a decision at some point. Because, you know, hole in the sky, things should get closed up, people want to get back to their life, other people want this thing off their hand and going home. Uh, me, that being me, so somebody gotta make a decision. Or you could stop bickering and make a decision. I agree. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The Majors may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think it's a trap? Because I was kind of sort of getting that vibe too. I think everything is a trap, currently speaking, but this seems weird. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, Oh, fair. The same could be said about the Templars. That's true. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. What are the other options? There is one other matter. Of course. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. Vanished? I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. Um, okay. That's weird, for sure. I mean, given everything that's going on and stuff like that, the fact that they haven't checked in and said hi is suspicious. But why tell me? I mean, I get it. I got the mark on my hand and stuff, but why tell me this? So you're telling me this because... 
The others have disregarded my suspicion, oh. but I cannot ignore it. Nor should you. Two days ago, my agents in the hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. Oh? If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Sure. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. Of course, of course. And if he can't, then there may be more going on than we thought. Oh, good. Thanks, Liliana. Mother Giselle, you made it. Greetings, Herald of Hi. Hi. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Uh, <laughs> damned if I know. I just wanted to stop by and say hi. I'm glad you made it. Well, you know how these things go. At least, I hope someone does. You love to bring a little light into the darkness. Always have. And I'm glad to see it. Too many see laughter as antithetical to the chant of light. They imagine Andraste as a grim warrior all her life, forgetting that she loved and was loved in return. I hope she found time for laughter during her trials, as I hope you do. Oh, I will. A hundred percent. I definitely will. Thank you for your time. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. I think all of us do. Thank you. It was good talking to you. Farewell. Make her go with you. The Inquisition cannot remain, Ambassador. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the bridge. Hi! Mistress Lavelan. This is the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durellion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Oh, um, well, I actually didn't realize anybody owned this land. I kind of thought it was just Chantry land. I mean, then I guess technically the Chantry would have owned it. But anyways, I had no idea anybody had claim to it. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, mm -hmm. Lady Machin of Denner, oh. has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. Oh, interesting. We were honored to lend this use to Divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Well, first of all, I can appreciate the fact that you donated your land for all of this and it seems like a very nice thing that you and your wife have done but its followers need shelter i mean all the people that came here and are still here came here because of the divine so wouldn't it make sense that you'd want to honor her memory by letting them stay people have been injured you can't just turn them out onto the snow and who benefits if they stay divine justinia marquis the Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Ah, uh, does the Marquis actually own Haven? Like, own it, own it? Do the Durellions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Really? Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. Oh. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. That actually would be true. Um, you handled him so well. Like, I think I could talk my way out of several situations, but you, that, that was so good. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. 
What? You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. Well then, we are very lucky to have you, uh, Josephine. May I ask, how did you become the ambassador of the uh, Inquisition? May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. Oh, well, I guess whenever somebody promises you something interesting and then it actually turns out to be interesting, I don't think it's ever in the way that we quite expected that they had originally meant, you know? Uh, is it all right to ask your background? Like, were you a diplomat before? Did you do something entirely different? Or... What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. Oh, wow. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. Well then, I am so happy that you are on our side, because if you could do that with the Marquis, I can't wait to see what other nobles you talk into doing either what we want or something that we don't want. That You know what I, I just I'm so excited. It's going to be great. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. Just a little. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Of course. Thank you for chatting with me, Josephine. It was good to finally, you know, have a little bit of a discussion. I am going to go find... Cassandra and Leliana. My creator, judge and me I hold. should also find... Wait, find well Vivian? Is that you? Did you end touch up in here? You've never been to a circle, as far as I can tell. No. Nope. Yet you're remarkably skilled. Thank you. Were you self-taught? Um, I was trained by my keeper, as pretty much all Dalish mages are. Not at all. I studied magic with Keeper Deshana. I have heard about the traditions of magic among the Dalish keepers, but it's all third-hand. In my own experience, nothing is more deadly to a young mage than a lack of knowledge. Agreed. Which makes the current state of things... precarious. What do you imagine will happen if the circles are not restored? Do you foresee the Dalish taking us all under their wing? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, I mean, on one hand, I agree. Uh, I think mages do need some kind of training because, I mean, I know what I can do. And I can't imagine what a frightened, terrified, untrained, unnurtured mage could do. I am, but at the same time, I don't agree with your circles. Uh, they seem kind of like, well, glorified prisons to me, given the way I grew up versus the way that your circle mages have grown up. And I almost think you're seeing the results of that in some ways, where they're kind of just running around all willy-nilly and throwing spells around like it's fun because they've never had any real outside experience. Uh, so I don't know, honestly, what should happen. I don't think the Dalish would ever take all of you under their wing. There's just simply too many of you, to be honest. Um, all I know is this chaos, it, it's hurting everybody. So in one way or another, everybody needs to sit down and figure out what to do once we get the breach closed. And I think that the Conclave was a good idea. I don't know if it was executed the best given what happened, but I think in principle, it was a good thing. So after we get this settled, another one maybe could convene. The war benefits no one. It must end. An order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, Countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. Well, that's something that I guess we'll do all that we can. I mean, their fate is in their hands, though, despite the fact that, you know, we're working to close the breach. Whatever happens after, that's on them. It's not on the Inquisition, and it shouldn't be. I mean, I don't want a hand in deciding the fate of the world, you know? I'm not deciding anything. 
Actions have consequences, my dear. Agreed. Do not imagine that yours will go unnoticed by history. I didn't think For they almost would. a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. That's kind of terrifying. Honestly, that is absolutely positively terrifying. Nobody should have this level of power. I don't even know if I think Andraste and the Maker themselves should have this level of power that you're implying. I certainly don't want it. It's kind of terrifying. Nobody should claim to know the will of the Maker. Not me and not the Chantry. Perhaps nobody should. But if no one leads the way, many will be left behind in darkness. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. Well, it was nice talking to you, Vivian. Thank you for taking the time to do so. Um, that was an interesting conversation if I ever heard one. Hello? Can I help you? 